So we've got the eyes done. Now I want to move on. Make sure that I don't have any fallout from underneath there. Our eyeshadows are pretty pigmented, so sometimes they get a little fallout underneath, especially if you're using the darker black or the darker browns as the liner. There we go. So then I'm going to take my foundation. Again, I'm using my foundation, so I'm dipping straight into it. And I'm basically just polka dotting all over my face. It's really cute. Now, the foundation is a wax-based foundation. So what that means is it kind of needs to come up to body temperature to do its job. So it'll melt in nice and pretty the way we want it to. So if you dot it on and let it get nice and warm on your face, then I go back with my blender full, which is damp. I've got it damp, but it's wrung out really well. And I'm just going to buff that in. I'm just going to make all those pokey dots disappear and blend it on down in. And it does. It just melts into the skin so perfectly. That wax just look beautiful. Now if you're seeing some spots where you missed, then I'll take the sponge directly back in. Dot it back on. But you don't want to get too much product. You don't want to like scoop it out. You don't need to. This product is so pigmented that a little really does go a long way. But just if you need any extra coverage in places, it's nice and buildable. It can be as sheer or as full coverage as you want. I've been doing more of the fuller coverage lately just because I've got that nice melasma from pregnancy. This kid better come out adorable and talented. No doubt. Right there, just does not want to. Okay, so now I've got my face on. And because it's so pigmented, it might look a little a little jarring until you get your blush and your uh, mascara back on. It's a little little ghosty until then. But then the next thing we're going to do is I've got these two products. One is a highlighter and one is a blush. And if I don't do anything else for the day, if I just feel like I absolutely have to have something on but I don't want to do a full face of makeup, I will do mascara and these two products. This is a blush, blush, and the highlighter. So everybody has been so kind throughout this pregnancy to be like, oh, you're glowing, you're so, you just got this natural glow. I have a confession, it's highlighter. It is not me, it is not a glow, it is makeup, <laughs> and I know what to do with it. So what I'm gonna do is I've got our blending brush. I love this for highlight, and I'm just gonna tap into it. And the point of a highlighter is to make things come forward on the face. So the, you want to put it on the parts of the face that are coming forward. So I put some above the brows, put a little on the tops of my cheekbones, a little magic triangle area there. On the other side, I take it down the middle of my nose and a little on my chin. Now if I wanted to, if I was going out and wanted to do a really fun dramatic makeup, I could contour. I'd take one of the concealer colors and I'd contour underneath because think about shadow and dark. You'd put it under, whoa, hey, how's it going? Nice catch there, ladies. Put it, your contour under here, along here, a little bit here if you're feeling frisky, and the jawline. But easy peasy out the door, just the highlighter is all you need. And then I'm going to take my blush. Love my big fluffy dome a blush and this one is my go-to it's a nice shimmery pink shimmer shimmers good stuff on on cheeks and I want to put it on my cheekbone start kind of about where your eye the middle of your eye is middle of your pupil and come back it's nice you know we all want to think put it on our cheeks or the apples of our cheeks but the thing is when you stop smiling your apples of your cheeks are down here. We don't want to pull the face down. We want to keep everything lifted. So I'm kind of just going from here to about where if I extended my eyebrow out, just right through there. I'm not going all the way up to my temple. That's a little 
a little more vintage than I'm feeling like getting today. But I'm going up this way. And I might have been earlier holding it incorrectly, but another tip for keeping the face pulled up, especially as we get older, is to hold your brush this way. So you're applying at a downward angle. Instead of pulling things this way, you're helping keep everything up here. Anytime I do a makeup lesson, half of the battle is teaching them how to rehold their brushes. So a little tip right there. So that that and a little mascara, if I don't do anything else, that makes it look like I'm alive for the day. Now I'm going to finish up where my quad, there it is. There it is. Lost my quad for a second. Uh, the same quad that I had earlier. Um, I feel a little naked if I don't have my eyebrows filled in, especially if I've buffed over them with the foundation. So I'm going to take my little guy here and I'm going to fill in. I don't want to go too crazy. Oh, wrong. You can do it with this brush, but if they get a little bushy, I like a little more precision. Let me get the right brush. This one's got the brow thing on the end so that way I can kind of pull some of the pigment out if I get too much in there and get a little bit of shaping afterwards. But basically I'm just painting the eyebrows that are already there. And if you don't have a ton of eyebrows, then you can go ahead and, you know, fill in a little heavier handed. Yeah, and this guy over here, I must have slept on him or something, because he's, uh, he's really wanting to march the beat of his own drum, so I flip that bad boy around and make him behave. I don't know why I've decided my brows are male today. We're going with it. 